Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick um, video this evening. I've not done a product-based uh, video for a while because um, I've just been uh, been pretty busy. So, uh, so yeah, sorry if you've um, if you got bored of a lot of the uh, the radio clips I've been putting up, but I'll uh, I'll get back on track soon. So, I um, as you know from a lot of Miller videos, you'll see you'll have seen that I collect Bofang radios. Um, and uh, I thought, obviously, as time goes on, uh, the batteries in these radios aren't gonna last forever. Um, you know, these lithium ion batteries are not gonna not gonna last forever. You know, you uh, you end up with a, a collection of um, handhelds. If I can just uh, reach reach a couple down, you end up with a collection of uh, of old handhelds here that have um, they become useless because the batteries uh, the batteries are dead on them. Um, you can't get the replacement batteries anymore, and you know if you can't resell them, some people resell them. I obviously, well, I don't have the uh, not technological advanced enough to uh, to sort of resell these batteries with the uh, with it, with updates. So um, they become useless. And uh, obviously, if you've got quite a few bow things like I have, you know you don't you don't want them to become come redundant. So what I've uh, what I've started to do is, is sort of slowly build up um, a collection of these uh, these battery eliminators. We've got a couple for the UV five Rs there, so I can, uh, you can plug them into a cigarette lighter. If you just pop it on the back there, and uh, you know pop it into a power supply. Same with uh, same with this one. You just pop it on there. You, uh, you plug it into your power supply, turn the radio on. Um, so yeah, so they're handy, handy to have, handy for mobile operation. And like I say, when when your batteries, lithium-ion batteries, are dead, in time to come, you've uh, you can still use your radio. So I picked up one for the UV82, which is uh, this radio here, and uh, it came in the post. It was about eight eight pounds off eBay, about ten or eleven dollars uh, American dollars. Eight, eight pounds and it looks uh, it looks all right and it looks identical to the uh, the UV82 battery in in every single way but the uh, the problem we've got is if we uh, slide this on it doesn't it doesn't lock into place so these buttons work properly but it doesn't it doesn't stay in place so It, uh, it works, but it's um, you know if I uh, if I've got this this um, plugged into the car and I go to lift the radio up and this cable comes you know comes out too much, it's gonna uh, it's gonna come off. So so yeah, a bit of a shame really. I'm gonna have to look for uh, look for another one. As I say, it look it looks like the battery. All this down here looks the same. But there's obviously something that's that's not locking into place on the on the back of the radio. So just something to uh, something to watch out for. Um, if you're looking at buying one of these, the uh, the fit you can see there leaves uh, leaves a lot to be a lot to be desired, and it sounds like it's clipped in, but it hasn't. So so yeah, um, so yeah, that's just a bit about the uh, bit about the UV82 battery eliminator there, guys. Hope some of you found that useful. Um, just something to watch out for when buying it. Um, if anyone else has the same problem, let us know. Drop us a comment in the box. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you with that one. I've got the BF, uh, both in BFR5 and BFR6 handhelds in the post. Um, UHF 16 channel ones uh, in the post. Really, really cheap on eBay at the moment, and sort of like a remodel of the BF Triple Eight S. I think that I got them for about eleven pound each. Um, so uh, looking forward to them coming. I'll do a couple of unboxings and uh, and um, and show you what they're like. Uh, when they come so until then guys 73 for now thanks very much for watching really appreciate it uh, over 400 subscribers now um I think we're on about 430 subscribers which is which is absolutely fantastic um not not the reason why i do it but obviously it makes it makes it all worthwhile for me it's nice to see that people watch so um you know a massive thank you from me to everybody who watches my videos everyone who subscribes um and everyone who drops a comment who drops a thumbs up it's really really appreciated um it keeps me uh keeps me motivated to make some more videos it's nice to see that uh that some people have uh, have the similar interest to me 
So uh, yeah, big thanks on that guys and um, yeah, really appreciate it. Alright, 7-3 for now, we'll catch you again.